OK, so here is a Venn diagram, and I want to find the probabilities of each of these. So for the first one, we need the probability of A. Well, that's whatever is within the circle of A, so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, so 0 0.4. The property of B is anything that's within the circle of B, so 0.1 and 0.5 is 0.6. The property of A union B is A or B or both, so anything that appears within the two circles, 0.3 plus 0.1 plus 0.5 is 0.9. The intersection of A and B is where they overlap, and so that's just the 0.1. OK, so they're the basic probabilities out of the way. Now we get to the conditional probabilities. So number five, the probability of A given B. So given B, so we're just looking at B, what's the probability of A? Well, it'll be the 0.1 out of the total that you see there, 0.6. So 0.1 divided by 0.6 is 1 sixth. Now, the probability of B given A, so given A, so we erase everything that's not A, and then what's the probability of B? Well, it's the 0.1 out of the total that you see, 0.4. So 0.1 out of 0.4 is a quarter. The probability of A given not B, so given that we're outside of B, What's the probability of A? Well, it's 0.3 out of the total that you see. So that's 0.3 out of 0, over 0 0.4, which is 3 quarters. OK? Right, the probability of not A given B. So the probability of not A, OK? Uh, sorry, probability of uh, not A given B. So we know that it's B. What's the probability of not A? Well, it's the 0.5 out of what you see. So it's 0.5 over 0.6, which is 5 sixths. OK? So this is effectively, the, well, it's one take away the probability of A given B, as we saw in part 5. And then number nine, uh, the probability of not B given not A. So we know it's not A. What's the probability of not B? Well, it's 0.1 out of the total that you now see. So 0.6. So 0.1 over 0.6. So 1 sixth. OK? So that is how we can find conditional probabilities from a Venn diagram.